We're here with tennis associate head coach Ricky Rojas as we get ready for the uh, Pittsburgh Invitational. Coach, how do you expect your team to perform following the long layoff? Um, we expect them to be mentally tough. I think that's going to be an area that we're going to emphasize always having a little bit of a break. The tennis may not be at a high level, but the, the things that we can control, which is our attitude, our effort, uh, and our ability to compete, that, that's one of the things that we're looking forward for, for this first tournament of the year to get us uh, going for, for the rest of the year. Uh, what is the most important thing for your team to show this weekend? Again, I'm going to uh, have to say again uh, our mental toughness. I think we have a group of kids that uh, they love the sport. Um, we have to develop uh, in, 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 in those moments of adversity to, to stay confident. So I think this tournament for us, that's, that's what we're looking at, uh, at those moments of adversity that w they're going to be facing for sure. But that's where um, we're working on, on their ability to, to perform well in those moments. That's actually when, when it really counts, especially in tennis, in those uh, close matches that, that we're looking forward to see them in, in competition this weekend. What is the status of your lineup as we near the regular season? Um, there's nothing set yet. I think it uh, goes back again. Uh, this weekend for us is going to be um, uh, just to see uh, how, how they perform again back to their competitive spirit. I think whoever wants it the most, I think we have a, t a, a very close team. So that's going to come down to we want to see uh, how well th and how much they want it, and then uh, we're going to make decisions after this tournament. But for us, it's, it, more than anything else, it's just to see them all compete, get, get, get in their first tournament, and then from there we'll, we'll, we'll have a, a better picture for, for the following weekend. Right. Two of this weekend's participants, Akron and Marshall, appear on this year's schedule. How valuable is it to face a team twice? So it was good to face them twice, uh, I believe, because um, especially Akron be being in our conference, uh, we're definitely going to play them one more time and maybe three times if, 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 if we go to the tournament. So for us, it's, it's, it's always good to see them compete, take a little bit of notes, see, see their new players, uh, their lineup. Uh, so and for us, for our kids, uh, the same, you know, we will sit down, especially if we play against them, Akron, and, and then go over their matches so they have a clear picture and understanding uh, what's going to be coming in at the end of the year. And, and for Marshall, non-conference uh, team, the same. I think that Marshall is a really good team. So when you play them early, it's just to get a feel for, for, for what we're going to be facing uh, later on the year. So I think it's, it's, it's good for us to, to play them uh, twice. Thank you, Coach, and good luck this weekend. Thank you.